All right, what the heck is going on with Bitcoin? Well, let's talk about that in this video right now. What the heck's going on with Bitcoin? Oh no, let's just discuss it right now. Essentially, it's not as bad as you think it is. If we zoom out on a weekly chart, this is really what I wanna dive in and talk about and kind of discuss. This is what's referred to as a distribution phase. If I zoom out really, really big picture, what you'll notice is we have been making higher highs and higher lows over time. You had this huge, huge breakout of this massive triangle distribution phase from essentially the run up in 2017 until COVID 2020. Well, ironically enough, Bitcoin's been holding up so much better than the majority of tech stocks out there. I can go down a very long list, but let's just say NVIDIA, right? NVIDIA since November is down and hitting the 100 simple moving average on a weekly chart, 48%. PayPal, absolutely huge company, is down 72%. Square, aka Block, is down the same time period, 64%. Facebook, in the exact same time period, is down, well, as of right now, 46%. But right before earnings, they were down 55%. Netflix is getting absolutely squash buckled. This thing is down 73%. Bitcoin is only down. I say only relative to where it's at, it's only down 38%. So Bitcoin's actually down less than some of these large, large, humongous tech companies, which is an incredible insight to have. Not only that, but you'll notice that we haven't fully interacted with the 100 simple, which is this blue line in quite a while. So long story short, this is a distribution phase. This is a phase where people get bored, people stop caring, and Bitcoin is probably gonna trade sideways and hang out here for a while, long enough for everyone to get bored, all the plebeians to sell, to get bored, to forget that it exists, and then it slowly grinds back higher than just 59,000 price point. I am looking to buy Bitcoin off of 36,000, but I am very surprised and happy at how long and how strong it is holding at these levels. Granted, this is actually higher where it is right now than the lows that came in during the Ukraine incident and during some Federal Reserve news back here in late January and mid-February. So we are still higher than that price point. Keep in mind, there's still amazing, amazing trading opportunities to be had on Bitcoin. Take a case in point, bear candle closing above the 10 EMA, entry here, target 15%. That was a 200 simple moving average rejection eight buying candles in a row. There hasn't been eight buying candles in a row on Bitcoin in, wow, really since over here, where it also pulled back the last time. That was not a massive surprise that Bitcoin will be rejected off the 200 after that many buying candles in a row. So anyway, there are still plenty of opportunities to take advantage of Bitcoin's growth. I am long-term bullish on Bitcoin. I am waiting. My plan is to wait this distribution phase out realize that it is down, but it's down so much more, so much less than some of these major, major tech companies. Be patient, buy low, sell high, don't be overly aggressive, but wait it out and be snagging some Bitcoin, especially if you're doing it every week, every other two weeks, every paycheck, buy low, sell high, own and accumulate. That's the plan on Bitcoin. And I hope it was helpful. You rock. Mm -hmm.